crown Miss Florida Teen USA, all the cameras were on me. My life changed in so many ways, and now I pass the crown on to another. Who will she be? Welcome to our 16th birthday. It's going to be a party. Florida. It's the 1998 Miss Florida Team USA pageant. Ready to meet our contestants? Well then, let's rock! Hi, my name is Davina Wilkinson, and I'm from Bryceville. Hi, my name is Heather Gross, and I'm from Cape Coral. Hi, I'm Ashley Sonic, and I'm from Miami. Hello, my name is Kelly Rosera, and I'm from Panama City Beach. Hello, I'm Samantha Goat from Davenport. My name is Robin Marion. I'm from Newport Ritchie. I'm Keely Zelenka from Boca Raton. I'm Whitney Rose from Daytona Beach. Hello everyone from the beautiful beach side of Gulfstream. I am Priscilla Bainey. Hi, I'm Jane Devo from St. Petersburg. Hello, my name is Julie Ward and I'm from Red Bay. Hi, my name is Tana Brown and I'm from Greenacre City. Hi, my name is Melina Vanagana from St. Petersburg. Hi, my name is Shallon Barnes and I'm from Lacanto. Hi, I'm Julie Lamb from Apopka. My name's Heather Janisco and I'm from McClenny. I'm Carissa Gaudette from Miami. Hey Florida, this is Kristen Walker from Palm Harbor. Well, all righty then. How about meeting the rest of our contestants? Ladies? Hi, I'm Brittany Hammond, and I am from Boynton Beach. Hi, my name is Jennifer Dickerson, and I'm from Sunrise. Hi, my name is Tina Khalil, and I'm from Pompano Beach. Hi, I'm Robin Morris from Deland. Hi, I'm Jennifer Scott from St. Augustine. My name's Amy Walsmith, and I'm from Ormond Beach. Hi, I'm Autumn Wisner from Plant City. Hello, I am Allison Forehand from Bonifay. Hi, my name is Nicole Broderick, and I'm from Hallandale. Hi, my name is Lori Hatfield, and I live in Longwood. Hi, my name is Jennifer Peavy, and I'm from Haines City. I'm Samantha Merck from Orlando. Hi, my name is Michelle Reese, and I'm from Miami. Hi, from Davie, I'm Meredith Motzer. Hi, my name is Michelle Chapman, I'm from Avon Park. Hi, I'm Nadia Bjorland from West Palm Beach. My name is Frankie Hall, and I'm from Key Largo. I am Sabina DePauli from Lantana. Hi, my name is Catherine Rodriguez, and I'm from Miami. My name is Shauna Winger, and I'm from Ormond Beach. Hi, I'm Penny Mays from Winterhaven. Hello, my name is Rachel Hayden, I'm from Coral Springs.
The 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant is brought to you by the Central Florida Visitors and Convention Bureau. Everything under the sun. From the Lakeland Center, it's the 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant. We're having our 16th birthday party and you're invited. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hostess for tonight's pageant, actress and model Barbara Bond, and your host for the 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant, producer and news anchor Donald Grant. Welcome everyone to the 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant and our birthday party. That's right, it's our 16th birthday party. You know, it's really hard to believe that just 16 years ago, the first Miss Teen USA was crowned right here in Lakeland. And this Miss Florida Teen USA pageant has grown into one of the premier events for the state of Florida. That's right, and this afternoon, not only will the contestants compete to represent our state at the nationally televised Miss Teen USA pageant, but for the first time, our winner will receive a $40,000 college scholarship. Wow. That, that's a very serious opportunity for our winner this afternoon, but hey. This is a party, so I say we begin the celebration. Well, that's my cue to take my anchor position, but I've got to tell you, like any good birthday party, we're full of surprises today. We are going to be prepared for that. We'll be on our toes. We'll see you in a little bit, Barbara. <laughs> Let's introduce our judges now. Our first judge was Miss Florida Teen USA in 1986, and it's currently with Delta Airlines. She is Stephanie smith Belinsky. Our next judge is currently the acting, directing, and playwriting instructor for the Harrison School of the Arts right here in Lakeland. He is Paul Hughes. Our third judge is a former Miss Florida USA and currently is a Miami-based marketing representative for Barnett Bank. She is Rosa Valia De La O. Our fourth judge is a Lakeland City Commissioner and president of the Fields & Company Insurers of Polk County. He is Gal Fields. And our final judge is also a former Miss Florida Teen USA. She's now a speech language pathologist for the Dade County School System. She is Deborah Knox Eldridge. Five people with a tough job ahead of them. As we promised, lots of surprises at the party today. We are now going to announce the top 10 semi-finalists for the competition. Ladies, best of luck. Our number one semi-finalist from Miami, Ashley Sane. <laughs> Our second semi-finalist, Samantha Grote from Davenport. Number three from St. Petersburg, Jane Delo. Our fourth of ten semi-finalist from Gulfstream, Priscilla Bainey. Nicole Broderick. We're halfway there, number six, Meredith Motzer. Number seven from Plant City, Autumn Wiseman. <laughs> Number eight, Nadia Borland. <laughs> Our ninth semi finalist this afternoon, Penny May. <laughs> Number 
Ladies and gentlemen, our 10th and final semi-finalist for the 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant, Sabina DePoli. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are our 10 semi-finalists. One will wear the crown of Miss Florida Teen USA. Barbara. Congratulations, ladies. Now that our party is well underway, it's time to proceed to the interview portion of the competition. Our semi-finalist responses to questions need to be insightful, but concise. And they'll do just that right after this break. The 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant. Join us as we celebrate our 16th birthday with lots of pageant fun. You know, evening gowns, interviews, swimsuits, and of course, me crowning the next Miss Florida Teen USA. And that could be you. Yes, you. Call the pageant hotline at 1-800-USA-FLA-1 for all the details. I called, and then I won. It's that simple. Call now. And I am here with 10 topical questions to test our contestants' ability at impromptu speaking and knowledge of important issues. So let's begin with contestant number one. Ashley Sonic. Welcome. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Great, thank you. Have a seat, please. Join me at my park bench. This is your question. Physical fitness is a big part of this event, obviously. Describe for me a healthy person. I'd like to say, actually, I am going to say that I am a very healthy person. I'm very health conscious. I watch what I eat. Um, when I eat better and I eat good foods, like fruits and vegetables, I, I mentally feel better about myself. And it motivates me to want to go to the gym and want to work hard and want to look like I am fit and um, and I enjoy working out it's it's not something that I say oh I have to do this I go to the gym and I want to do it I do it because I choose to so I am I am I would say that I am a physically fit person thank you great thank you very much everyone Ashley Sonic Samantha Grote welcome have a seat. Thank you. What motivated you to pursue this title? Pageants are something that I think are wonderful. They give our girls self-confidence. They teach them to be better speakers. Um, honestly, the thing that motivated me is my hairstylist, Greg. He got me the papers and everything, but myself is what kept me going. I love it. I love being in front of crowds, and I love looking beautiful, and it's taught me a lot. Great, thank you very much. Samantha Grote, everyone. Our third semi-finalist, Jane Delo. Welcome. Please have a seat. Jane, let's look into the crystal ball, into the future. Where do you see yourself five years from tonight? Uh, five years from tonight, I see myself already have obtained a bachelor's in film production or drama and theater at California State University at Long Beach, um, and I'll hopefully go on to pursue my master's degree in that, uh, live in California and pursue a career um, behind the scenes as a producer or a casting director or in front of the scenes as an actress. Um, there's a lot of time. I still have a couple years, so uh, time will bring success. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Jane Delo. Our fourth semi-finalist, Priscilla Bainey. Welcome. Hello. Please have a seat. Priscilla, tell me, volunteerism seems to be surging amongst teens. How do you volunteer in your community? Well, actually, at my school, 20 hours is required, but I'm definitely proud to say that I've won the Community Service Award every year that I've participated. Last year I had 120 hours. I, I sing at different 
children's hospitals, and one of my favorites is Equity Fights AIDS. Um, a dear friend of mine passed away, and that really, um, really hit me hard, and that really brought me to that. And I just really enjoy um, doing community service and making other pe people feel good about themselves. And um, I think that I like to make a difference just one person at a time. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Priscilla. Contestant number five, Nicole Broderick. Welcome. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Nicole, we've, as we've seen and heard, uh, the candidates for the title of Miss Florida Teen USA are very talented. Can you tell us about your greatest accomplishments? Well, my greatest accomplishment so far, because I'm a jock, I love um, athletics on a whole, I ran the 4x4 in the 1995 uh, Florida State track meet, and I, me and my team, my teammates, uh, we came second overall in the Florida State Championships. And we ran a PRs, personal bests, and we were really, really proud of ourselves. Wonderful, great, thank you very much. As our first five semi-finalists relax a bit, the spotlight will focus on our remaining finalists. But first, the contestants and reigning queen Kristen Dern will show us why Polk County has everything under the sun. We're actually in eastern Polk County, but she'd think it was the Old West. Besides, River Ranch is billed as the finest guest ranch and RV resort in the South. Our hayride showed us there are lots of ways for the whole family to have fun here. River Ranch was also a great place to show off our Lilia Smith Western wear. It looks great and feels good. Lilia Smith Western wear will present the new queen with a $2,500 wardrobe from their wonderful collection. We're getting to and from all these great places by bus. Central Florida Transit is making sure we're cool, comfortable, and on time. I can't wait to see where they take us next. No, it's not some exclusive resort. We're taking a boat ride at Weber College on beautiful Lake Palooza. It's a business college in Babson Park with students from all over the world and has been called the best kept secret in Florida. Weber College is 70 years old. Bock Tower Gardens in Lake Wales makes the world a little bit better and more beautiful because it is there. It's so quiet and natural that even we teenagers were calm for a while and the tower is unbelievable. The Bach Tower Gardens, New Education and Visitor Center was a perfect backdrop for our Wet Seal outfit. Wet Seal is about being creative and living in the present. The new Miss Florida Teen USA will receive a complete Wet Seal wardrobe. It's the ideal gift for a teenage queen. Yellow Strawberry Global Salon will present Miss Florida Teen USA with two unique gifts this beautiful bracelet, and the gift of fabulous hairstyles. Jesse Briggs, creator of the internationally famous Yellow Strawberry Global Salon, will style the new queen pair for a year. Plus, this spectacular diamond and gold bracelet will adorn the arm of our happy new queen. These are just some of the prizes our lovely new winner will receive. We'll show you more later. Now, let's get back to our Sweet 16 party. Kristen certainly knows how to throw a party. And speaking of parties, another birthday surprise at this celebration, the announcement of this year's Miss Photogenic Award. Miss Photogenic, Nadia Bjorland. Welcome back to the 1998 Miss Florida Teen USA pageant. We're in our interview segment. We've heard how the first five semifinalists responded to impromptu questions. Let's bring on the next five, beginning with Meredith Motzer. Welcome, Meredith. Have a seat, please. Who do you admire and why? My grandmother. Uh, she's taught me all of my life to appreciate the world around me. Uh, we drive to her optical store every day because I used to live there, <laughs> practically, and um, she always would point out the flowers on the street, and she really taught me to stop and smell the flowers and take in every part of life and to appreciate everything. I love her so much. Great. Thank you very much, Meredith. <laughs> 
Autumn Wisner. Hi there. Hi. Have a seat, please. Autumn, how can you personally serve as a role model for your peers? Um, I think that I'm, everyone needs to be really positive. I think I'm a really positive person, a real person. Um, basically, just be myself. Wonderful. Great. Thank you very much. Our eighth semifinalist, Nadia Bjorlund. How are you? Fine, thank you. Have a seat. Nadia, what experience has best prepared you for this competition this afternoon, do you think? I think the best experience to help me for this competition is the fact that I've been performing my entire life. I'm a singer, and I've been performing since I was six years old. And always being up on stage, I, I love it. Music is my life, and I've, I love being in the spotlight. And so um, singing, I go to performing arts school also, so we get a lot of training there. And so I just have had a lot of stage experience in my life. That's preparation. Thanks a lot, Nadia. Our next contestant, Penny Mays. Welcome, Penny. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Please have a seat. Strong leadership is a common characteristic of all the contestants here. Give us an example of your leadership abilities. An example of my leadership ability would be example, I was junior class president last year, and of course I was over prom. Uh, we had a discussion on the theme for prom, and no one could decide really what we wanted to do. So we all decided to write down our ideas and compromise, and so we really had a really great prom this year. Great, thank you very much. Our final contestant for the interview segment, Sabina DePoli. Welcome. How are you? Great, thank you. Have a seat, please. Of the many people in your life, who do you feel has influenced you the most and why? I feel my mother has influenced me the most. I've spent the most time with her, and um, it says it's true that you take on the five people that you spend the most time with's personalities, and I think that's true. Um, I think we complement each other's personalities, and I think I've taken on many of her good qualities. Hopefully, her positive attitude and um, just the thought that if you don't try, you can't ever succeed. Great. Thank you very much. Now our contestants look ahead to the swimsuit competition. But before we continue that event, let's go to Barbara, who has a very special guest. You know, Lakeland has always been a great place to throw a party. In fact, the city hosted the very first Miss Teen USA pageant 16 years ago. And someone with very fond memories of that experience is our very first Miss Florida Teen USA, Laura Erdman. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Laura. Could you tell us what was it like competing in that inaugural pageant? Well, you said it was a party here, and a party it was. This town knows how to throw a party and make every one of these girls feel welcome. We had names and congratulations and welcome signs in every marquee down Florida Avenue, knew we were here for 28 days, filled the arena across the hall on an empty seat in the house, and it was the most incredible feeling to be in the inaugural one, to get it all started, and really enjoyed being back here with all these little girls, make me feel a little old, but that's okay. <laughs> it was good, I enjoyed it a lot. Well, you have some very special memories Yes, then. I do. Well, Definitely. one of our semi-finalists will compete in this year's nationally televised Miss Teen USA pageant, and will be one step closer to finding out who she'll be in the swimsuit competition, and that's coming up right after this break. Have a computer, and want to keep up with Miss Florida Teen USA? MissFloridaTeenUSA.com has everything you need to know at one site. Applications, information, and a real-time video recap that features me. Then visit our Miss Florida USA page at MissFloridaUSA.com. So for the latest pageant info, just find us at MissFloridaTeenUSA.com for the coolest pageant site on the internet. Well, it's time for the party to get red hot. 
The contestants will show off their commitment to physical fitness in the swimsuit competition. Each semifinalist will wear an official swimsuit by Jamaican Style Swimwear. So let's pump up the music and get the party started. There is no stopping them now. One thing for sure, they are ready to rock. So let's start with contestant number one. But first, gotta get permission from the lifeguard. Mr. Lifeguard, might we bring a few lovely ladies in bathing suits out to your beach? Number one, Ashley Sonig. Contestant number two, Samantha Grupp. Contestant number three, Jane Delo. Number four for the swimsuit competition, Priscilla Bainey. Contestant number five, Nicole Broderick. Number six, Meredith Motzer. Contestant number seven, Autumn Weisner. Contestant number eight, Nadia Bjorland. Number nine, Penny May. And our final contestant, Sabina Napoli.
And apparently, the audience agrees. How about Noncore? Presenting the semi-finalist competing for the title of Miss Florida Teen USA 1998. All of that energy is absolutely incredible, but it's time to slow down the tempo a bit. The evening gown competition will certainly do that. But here's another reunion surprise. 1990s Miss Florida Teen USA Michelle Benitez and 1992's Miss Florida Teen USA Jennifer Sutter. Now, Michelle, we've just seen the swimsuit competition. Tell us, what were your secrets? Barbara, not only is it the long hours in the gym, it's also knowing the knowledge, it's also having the knowledge of how to eat healthy and when to eat that keeps you prepared and flawless like these young ladies behind us. And Jennifer, as the semifinalists enter the evening gown competition, do you have any advice for them? Well, I'd have to say most of the girls are just concerned with making it down the stairs. <laughs> so my advice would be to just relax. This is the last chance the judges get to see the girls in the competition portion of the pageant. So just to take their time, relax, and enjoy their time on stage. Well, thanks so much for sharing the memories and the tips. Now here's Kristen Duren with a preview of the prizes that await our new title holder. Johnson & Wales is the largest culinary college in the world. And their business school is extensive. Johnson & Wales University will award a $40,000 scholarship to Miss Florida Teen USA at their Florida campus. What a prize! Best known for its breathtaking flowers and legendary water ski show, Cypress Gardens in Winter Haven, Florida also features a Southern Style Zoo. The contestants and I got to meet some of the creatures and they were great but we were happy to maintain a little distance with some of the others. Some of the ladies took a boat ride around Cypress's lush 200 acre garden, but I headed for the topiaries. Bijou Turner will provide Miss Florida Team USA with a complete assortment of their acclaimed jewelry and accessories. Bijou Turner sets tomorrow's trends today. Like many towns in Polk County, Bartow has preserved much of its rich history and heritage. Historic Bartow gives us some feeling about how people lived and thought during a different time. It also shows and tells us how much we have in common with those people. Polk County's historic old courthouse also tells us what time it is, as does the special gift from Croton Watch Company. Miss Florida Team USA, the runners-up, Miss Amity and Miss Photogenic will all receive these stunning two-tone bracelet watches from Croton Watch Company. You should see the transformation that occurs here and all around Polk County during the holiday season. It's called City Lights, Cypress Nights, and it takes place in 14 cities and Cypress Gardens. Each city has a unique lighting theme perfect for driving and walking tours. It's a fun way to really get that holiday feeling. We have more prizes and more Polk County, but now let's get back to Barbara and the evening gown competition. Thanks, Kristen. After spending some time with the ladies over the weekend, I learned that the evening gown competition is the event they look forward to most. We'll be back with that elegant phase of the competition and the announcement of our five finalists. Miss Amity for 1998 Miss Florida Team USA pageant, Julie Ward. Welcome back to the 1998 Miss Florida Team USA pageant. The evening gown segment is about to begin. In this portion of the competition, our semi-finalists show us their beauty, poise, and elegance. Here's Donald with the introductions. Welcome to the evening gown competition. Wearing gowns of their own choosing, here are our 10 semi-finalists. Let's begin with number one, Ashley Sonig. And we do a show called Broadway Bound, and we got the opportunity to perform for Hillary Clinton. And um, we had to go actually five hours early because all of our equipment and the microphones and all the band's equipment had to be inspected by the Secret Service. And we were um, held in a room for about four hours. And it, was, it was freaky. It was scary. <laughs> Contestant number two, Samantha Grote. Um, I volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club in my city, 
It just opened up a few weeks ago, and what we do is we offer a place for our little kids to come after school so that they can have somewhere to go and have fun. They don't have to go out on the streets and get into trouble and stuff. And I enjoy it because I think that all little kids nowadays need a good role model, and that's what I try to be. Contestant number three, Jane Nilo. My biggest accomplishment up to now it most definitely has been being an elite competitive gymnast for nine years and never giving up, sticking through it, you know, through thick and thin times. The coolest thing about gymnastics has to be flipping all around in the air. <laughs> it's kind of like flying, so that's probably the coolest thing about gymnastics. Number four, Priscilla Bainey. My greatest accomplishment was winning the Star Search Junior Vocal Championship. And from as a result of that, I was cast in an off-Broadway show. And I've met numerous people. And Ed McMahon was so awesome. He even he asked me to call him Uncle Ed. Contestant number five, Nicole Broderick. Uh, my family dinners are like comedy sessions. They really are. Uh, everybody gets together all the time, and we pass, we exchange jokes around the table, and it's like a chorus of laughter. It's my father's the tenor, and my brothers are all like the the, the medium levels, and me and my mom are like sopranos. It's, it's hilarious. Meredith Mutzer. America's history is so closely tied with England. I would like to see it and, and see our background and, and know a little bit more about history of, of America and um, the landscaping is very nice there. And, and also maybe take a trip to Buckingham Palace and see Prince William. <laughs> Semi-finalist number seven, Autumn Wisner. I want to get in law enforcement because I feel there's a lot of action. It, it's going to be something different every day, you know, excitement and just, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And, I, and all, not only fun, but helping people, you know, and making a difference in, you know, children's lives, people's lives, trying to make people better. I just think it'll be real exciting. Number eight, Nadia Bjorland. Come on, everybody. Everybody, come on, everybody. Well, I guess because I'm a Leo, I like all the attention. Um, I just love performing. I love being in front of many people. The more people, the better. Um, being, I just think I belong in the spotlight. Number nine, Penny Mays. Well, personally, I think the coolest part of modeling is runway. I mean, I love being, walking down the runway is just totally awesome to me. It's like a natural high. The turns, the spins, and the actual beat that's in the music really helps me on the runway. Well, I think it's more of, more of a sense of pride. You know that yourself, that you are confident, and that's what modeling is. It's portraying how confident you are about yourself. Number 10, Sabina DePoli. 
Oh, well, dancing is something that's very close to my heart. I started dancing when I was six years old, and it's something that I've always loved. I have like such a passion for it. When I watch it, it makes me tearful. It's such a lot of work. It's something you really have to dedicate your life to. It's not something that you can do and then forget about. You put all your time and effort into it, and that's how you become good. And congratulations. Let's now go backstage to Barbara, who has another special guest of the pageant. I'm here with a young lady who only last year crowned her successor, Miss Florida Teen USA 1996, Kelly Gauday. Bring back some memories? Absolutely. It seems like just yesterday that I was backstage getting ready to go on for the gown competition and, and the crowning and the top five and the whole entire thing. It's unbelievable. It's such excitement back here. Well, tell us, what are the semifinalists feeling right now? They have mixed emotions, no doubt. They're feeling excited, yet very, very nervous because they don't know what's going to happen. So. Mm. <laughs> well, it still is a mystery to all of us. Thanks Absolutely. so much for joining us. Thank you. Now let's join our reigning queen, Kristen Duren, as she shows us the cool side of Polk County. Hi. The last leg of our tour of Polk County takes us to downtown Lakeland. This building behind me was built in 1903 and is part of an antique district that draws visitors from all over. In fact, Lakeland is a great mixture of the old and the new, and there's no fine line between what residents and visitors do to enjoy themselves. The Polk Museum of Art has exhibitions for all ages and for taste from experimental and modern to the more traditional. This fabulous all-weather reversible parka has water repellent fabric on one side, luxurious sheared nutria on the other. A fox trim hood completes the great young look designed by Gus Goodman. Available at the first salon at Saks Fifth Avenue. A popular form of art is photography. Renowned fashion photographer Bob Lasky will capture the image of tonight's winner on film. She will receive a fashion or portrait session, her choice, at Lasky Studios in North Miami. This is the Lakeland Center. This recently renovated and expanded complex is second to none in the Sunshine State. It has an arena, all kinds of exhibit space, banquet halls, and meeting rooms. The Lakeland Center has a terrific theater that hosts this pageant. We're in the theater lobby right now, and this glamorous evening wear is from the exciting new collection by Scala. Sophisticated designs and a fresh, spirited attitude will make every woman feel sensational. Affordable elegance from Scala. Our new queen will be welcome to the world of royalty designs. Miss Florida Teen USA and the runners-up will receive custom-designed rings by internationally renowned crown and jewelry designer Holly Hardwick. As my reign as Miss Florida Teen USA comes to an end, I can truly say this year has been a dream come true. I would like to thank the family of the Miss Florida Teen USA program for making it a success. To my mother and father, thank you for all of your love and support. I couldn't have done it without you. I hope I made the Sunshine State proud as I represented it in the Miss Teen USA pageant. Good luck to all of the delegates and God bless you. I love you. Thank you, Kristen. You certainly are a fine role model for the young women of our state. Now the competition gets tougher as we narrow 10 semifinalists down to only five finalists. Beginning with Penny May. Our second finalist this afternoon, Nicole Broderick. Number three of five, Meredith Motzer. Two more semifinalists. Who will it be? Nadia Bjorland. And our last of five top finalists, Samantha Gross. Congratulations, ladies. 
Very soon we will announce who will wear the crown and bear the title of Miss Florida Team USA for 1998. Who will it be? Stay tuned as our party continues. Miss Florida USA for 1998 is Jamie Converse. And it could happen to you. The search is on for the next representative from Florida for the nationally televised Miss USA pageant. Meet new people, win great prizes, have a fun-filled week in Bell Harbor, and yes, maybe you can be the next Miss Florida USA. Call the pageant hotline or check out the pageant webpage. You could be the next Miss Florida USA. Welcome back, everyone. We are just moments away from finding out who will compete on the next level. That's the Miss Teen USA pageant. She'll take her place in Florida history as the title winner. That is something special unto itself, but even more important on this sweet 16 anniversary. Helping us in the crowning of is our reigning Miss Florida USA, Jamie Converse. And now in her final appearance as Miss Florida Team USA, 1997, Kristen Duran. <laughs> Kristen, you have done a fine job representing your state. As our queens prepare to crown our next Miss Florida Team USA, Deborah Geringer with the firm of Carter, Belcourt, and Atkinson, public accountants of Lakeland, hands me the results. It is now time to crown the belle of the ball, our 16th birthday for Miss Florida Team USA. Okay, our fourth runner up, Penny Mays. Our third runner up is Samantha Grote. Our second runner-up, Nadia Bjorlund. <laughs> now, as the last of the business for the evening, I must remind everyone that the first runner-up has a very important role. If for any reason tonight's winner can, is unable to fulfill her commitment, to represent Florida in the nationally televised Miss Teen USA pageant. The first runner-up will assume, assume her title. Best of luck, young ladies. The first runner-up is Meredith Motzer. Nicole Broderick, you are Miss Florida Teen USA 1998. Congratulations. You have just become the representative from Florida for the Miss Team USA pageant. And now enjoy all the snapshots from your adoring press at this, our sweet 16th birthday. To wrap up the party, let's know, now go back to Barbara. Congratulations, Nicole Broderick, our new Miss Florida Team USA 1998. Nicole, this party's been for you. We'd also like to thank all of the contestants who worked so hard to make this party a success. And also the warm and friendly people of Polk County, you certainly know how to throw a party. In the Lakeland Center, I'm Barbara Bond for Don Grant. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next year. The Miss Florida Teen USA pageant is brought to you by the Central Florida Visitors and Convention Bureau. Everything under the sun. Central Florida Transit is the official bus line for the Miss Florida Team USA pageant. For more information on the Miss Florida and Miss Florida Team USA pageants, call the pageant hotline at 1-800-USA-FLA-1.